Hey everyone, my name is Mike, and in this video we'll be playing this lovely new game where you get to play as this guy who hates everyone, hates everything, wants everyone to die. He's a mass murderer. And the game has actually got a lot of hate in the media, purely because um, you're playing as a mass murderer, and the, character, the player is actually forced to kill civilians, and people compare it to GTA and say, well, GTA is just the same really, you can kill civilians and that, and it's just like, but that's a player choice. And um, in this, that's the objective of the game to progress is to actually kill innocents and kill everyone. But me, my, myself, I, I personally don't have an issue. It's it's a video game. There's been loads of flash games where you play as murder, serial killers, and um, you know it's pixels. So it's it's a game. If you take the game serious, like you're the one with the problem, not the game. I think personally, because like it's just like anyone that doesn't like like a racist joke or you know a a, a bad taste joke. It's a joke. It's not meant to be taken seriously, it's a video game. It's not meant to be taken seriously. So anyway, we'll jump into the game. Um, extreme. We're gonna play Extreme Difficulty, yeah, why not? So I have um, actually played a little bit of the game just to get a feel for the controls. You can play it with a controller, on the Xbox controller, or mouse and keyboard. I'm, I prefer to play mouse and keyboard. It is, um, it's, it's essentially a twin stick shooter, although I do think it does play better with a mouse. So um, is the tutorial right here? WASD to move, um, left shift to sprint, and the mouse to um, look around. Run at this obstacle to jump over. So I think this is the guy's um, basement. I'm not sure. Hold the left alt at any time to check current objective. Yeah, highlight any gear and characters on the screen. So there's some ammo inside here. There we go. Lights are coming on. Let's go through here. Use left mouse button to shoot in the direction of your crosshair. So this is a little bit. Showing us how the game works here. The guy's getting a bit of target practice before he goes out on his killing spree. We can roll, reload to R. Use right mouse button to aim, and left mouse button to shoot while aiming. Remember holding left alt highlights your targets like that. There we go. So we're shooting these targets. Easy peasy so far. So I don't actually know who the guy is. I think he's just this random guy. Like, you're not meant to know who he is. It's not. It's, <laughs> there's no story in the game. If, well, there is, I guess. There's a story in every game. It's a story in Bomberman and Pac-Man. But, um, you know, it's, it's not not to be taken seriously. It's 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 just a game to... I guess you could relieve really some stress by killing people. I don't know. So, <laughs> execute the people in agony. Replenishes your health. You bastard. Oh, yeah, that, that, that is quite horrible. Can you hear your guardian angel crying? I can. <laughs> Alright then. Yeah, so that is quite brutal and you feel quite bad in killing an innocent guy because it's like, why would I want to do that? But then the guy speaks and it's like, he's so cheesy, it kind of takes the, um, this, like, how serious it is out of it. Not, the, not how serious it is, but, you know, the, the brutality of it. He kind of makes fun of it. I think that's what the dev developers had in mind. It was to, like, make the guy so cheesy and corny, you, you can't take it serious. You know? My name is not important. What is important is what I'm going to do. I just fucking hate this world and these human worms feasting on its carcass. My whole life is just cold, bitter hatred. <laughs> He's ridiculous. And I always wanted to die violently. Really? This is the time of vengeance, and no life is worth saving. And I will put in the grave as many as I can. It's time for me to kill. And it's time for me to die. <laughs> it's got the like Duke Dukem crossed with like the Punisher and also a bit of I don't know, Manhunt or something, I don't know. But he's just telling so this is the game right here. We're killing innocent people. Um best all to see the objective. We can see el eliminate the populace. And 46 remaining, so that's the objective, just kill 50 people. Um, and yeah, also, there's, um, there's, you see the mini-map in the bottom left corner? There are objectives to do within the, the map, and um, there's like side quests. So uh, let's, we'll just gotta kill people, and while we're making our way to the objectives, we'll just kill some more people. Because that's the main quest, to get the um, 43 more people, and then there's like side quests as well. Which, uh, I don't know, probably help you add up the, uh, the numbers. And I don't actually know what the point of doing the side quest is. So, at the moment, yeah, because we've just started our rampage, there's no police. You know, it's... <laughs> so you can hear the police on the radio, they're talking. There was um, a call talking about a man killing people. 
So the police will be on their way soon. There's a policeman there. Kick the door. There we go. So, yeah, the game, I think, will get hard. It's not just going to be a cakewalk where you're just killing innocents for the fun of it. There is a challenge in the game. It is a game. It's not like a, a killing, uh, a, you know, a mask murderer um, simulator so much as it is a difficult game to play. I'm a man of hate and disgust. So um, I just switched to the pistol. We've got different weapons. Let's try out a few different weapons. So what's this? Annihilate the funeral procession. Oh, there's a dead guy in the back of the truck. Do we need to destroy that? Throw a grenade at it. Police coming. There they go. It's going to blow up, isn't it, that car? The grade scene, though. Oh my god, actually. Never mind. Respawn points acquired. Okay. Oh, shit. So, by doing that, was that a checkpoint? Oh my god, I'm bad at this. So, I'm not sure if I said, guys, but um, executing people like this, that, um, that gives you health. That's how you get your health back. There's no health packs. There's just um, executions, which gives you health back. So the civilian guy was picking up a gun there. Not a bad idea. Oh, that's a bit of overkill. Three shots. There are other I'm sending additional units. So we don't know why he's doing this. <laughs> all the backstory we got there was, I hate everyone. I'm sick of all these people. I've always wanted to die violently. Uh, so, uh, okay, fair enough. I mean, you're not meant to really look into it too deep, you know, it is a load of shit. Look at this woman trying to shoot me. Silly lady. Okay, ex oh, I kicked her, never mind. I was going to execute her, but uh, she got off lucky. So 25 more people left to kill. There's another objective up here, like a cocktail, I'm not sure what that is. Just got to keep your health full as well, they've got to execute people until my health is full. I think it might be full actually. Yeah, it looks pretty full. So now we'll move on to um, just killing people. It does look like you have a limited amount of ammo as well, so you've got to be pretty careful. I'm not just wasting too much ammo when you don't need to. Because I think you can melee people. He's got a knife, hasn't he? Oh, mate, you just kick people, it seems. Seems like when you kick people, they, um, they don't die. Because sometimes when you shoot people, you can't execute because you've killed them. It seems like, yeah, whenever you kick someone, it doesn't always, it never kills them. It's like a knockdown, so you can guarantee the execution if you're low on health. So some police coming in again. Whoa, he's coming at me. Let's throw a grenade at him. That didn't kill him. Wow, that's impressive. Well, not impressive, it's kind of shit. <laughs> Alright, where's that guy? So these enemies as well, they're, they're pretty easy to kill, the cops. I think uh, the enemies will get harder. Oh, look at this. Um, switch, switch the Molotov. Throw a Molotov in there. Oh my god. <laughs> it's pretty brutal. Okay, I need to switch back to the um, rifle, I think. We're low, low, low on ammo on the pistol. Oh my god, these people are burning. So what do we need to do here? Waste the party. <laughs> There's also only nine more people left to kill. Alright, we've done the party. Oh my god. There's, a quite, there's quite a few animations, it seems. I don't think I've seen any of them the same twice. Even that one's different. So, um, what's left to do? We've got another marker on the map. Six more people we meet. Oh, it's a vehicle. You can get in vehicles. That's good. Let's see how they drive. Spacebar to handbrake. E to get out vehicle. So, whoa, the, the steering's a bit sensitive. Whoa! Okay, let's go to the shopping cart. You know, I kind of don't have a problem killing cops as much as I do with the innocents because, like, how many games do you play where you kill cops? Like, it's it's, it's a it's a normal thing. It's accepted now. So just listen to that, that dialogue there. Everyone's going to the police station, it sounds like. All civilians report to the police station. There's a guy in my face. Where is he? There he is. There's a bit of a weird sound popping on the game. I don't know what it is. I don't know if you guys are hearing it or it's like my headphones or something. Oh my god, there's loads of enemies. Shit. Dying. 
Execute people. Got to execute people to get this health back. Shit. I'm in danger. Whoa. Execute people. I also think the objectives change because... Yeah, cleanse the police station is now the new objective. We've done all the side quests. You shooting me? So many in this market. That woman's picking up a gun there. Alright, so let's get out of here. Yeah, there's a new marker on the map. So if we head over towards that. Oh my god, there's loads on the mini-map. This is the police station. Must be, yeah. Alright, so how do we get in? There's a prison cell there. There's a guy exactly inside the cell. It's been able to load them out by now. Alright, kick the door. Oh, okay, there's people shooting me already. Get back, get back, get back. Okay, so there's going to be shitloads of cops in here, isn't there? What's up there? A new gear of genocide. So this is kind of like a... Um, a... what do you call it? Armory. Need to execute some people. It is a bit messy trying to um, shoot people through doorways and stuff because the, the angles are hard to, to uh, measure. But, uh, yeah. The gunplay is, like, okay. It's not terrible. It could be better, I guess. So, the objective, right? Cleanse the police station. So, uh, does that just mean kill everyone in the police station? I'm gonna execute this guy. I'm just playing it safe at the moment because. Whoa! <laughs> oh, he's got a, he's got a he's got um a police armor on now. I must have picked that up in the armory. So many people. So I don't know if this guy's got like a a final destination to go to. Because I'm guessing there's quite a few maps in this. There's levels, isn't there? So um, I, I don't know if he just is. is objective is to just kill as many people as possible or he wants to kill someone special at the end of it you know or just it doesn't matter who they are I feel like this game could be quite good for people that have had like a bad day at work you know sometimes when you're on work and you hate the people you work with like you're like I wish I had a shotgun sometimes like you don't ever think of actually doing it or the process of doing it, but you kind of, in the moment, sometimes just want to you want to punch someone in the face, don't you? And this could be kind of good for people like that, like therapy. It's like, I can't do it in real life, so I'll do it in a video game. I won't hurt anyone. You know, so... It really just makes me laugh when people take this game serious. And the it gets in the media, and the... I think it's been banned from Twitch, actually. It's, come on. It's it's not giving anyone any ideas. The people that would do... Th the people that the... Um, oh my god. The people that would... Um, do something like this. Don't need the motivation from the game to do it. They're gonna do it anyway. You know, this isn't gonna push anyone to do something. It's not practice. Is it because the game mechanics are the same as like Hell Divers or Dead Nation, Magicka, anything like that? And if any twin stick shooter, you're not learning it, learning anything from this. So we're upstairs now, anyway. It's actually not a bad game. It's it's quite fun to play. Where's the where's the doorway? Oh shit! I don't think you can shoot through windows. No, you can't. It's a bit weird. Why can't I hit you? Kick. <laughs> oh, we've done the objective then. Leave the district now. There's still some police here. There's a guy at the bottom of the stairs. Right, the objective's outside. Right, it's right here, actually. Oh, is it, are we going to the sewers, are we? I never thought it would be so easy to slaughter my whole neighborhood. <laughs> I can feel their pain. 
the suffering flowing through my veins. Really? It's like the most intense drug. And I need more. <laughs> Much more. He's an idiot. <laughs> I think that's what he calls police, isn't it? Human shields. And prepare an ambush. It's time to shoot some canned meat. <laughs> yeah, you can't take this serious. It's a joke. Alright then guys, that's all we've got time for for this video. Um I'll probably continue playing this just to see what happens. Um I don't know. It's obviously all you're gonna be doing is killing people. It's it's just a killing game. There's no other mechanics to the game. We've seen everything you can do in the game. It's just more levels now and harder enemies. So um yeah we'll we'll probably I'll probably continue this. So I'll see you next time guys.